What's up guys and welcome to my review for Vin Diesel's new movie, Bloodshot. Uh, this movie actually is coming out when it's supposed to. Uh, it opens tonight. Uh, so it stars, as I said, Vin Diesel. And he plays this soldier who, you know, if you've seen the trailers, something sort of not too good happens to him. So now he's with Guy Pierce and his sort of organization to where they can bring Vin Diesel back to life by uh, putting these like nanobot type things inside of uh, Vin Diesel's body. So now if he gets shot, it's like an X-Men, he can instantly kind of heal himself and, and it, it heals up. So he's kind of invincible. Uh, and he's out for revenge throughout the whole film, but he is being stopped along the way by Guy Pierce's uh, agency because they technically own him now so that's that's basically the 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 basic plot of the film um, going into this I wasn't sure how I would feel about it I mean it, it looked sort of like a like a like it could have been like a really kind of guilty pleasure to me I, I wasn't sure but uh, yeah that's not the case <laughs> oh boy yeah this movie was basically a load of nonsense <laughs> um, that you don't care about. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this script that is engaging or maybe even that interesting. I mean, sure, the premise is interesting, but just the way it's executed, it's like so dull. This movie's so dull. It's just, it's like you're just sitting there and you're, you're just watching it scene by scene by scene. And for me, I didn't give a crap of anything that was happening or anything I was watching because the movie is just done in such a way it's just so bland and dull I mean Vin Diesel he's he's okay in the movie but I mean honestly he's just playing every other character that Vin Diesel plays I mean he's he gives the same kind of performance in all of his movies you know is he Dominic Toretto in this movie maybe you know it seems that way and I mean everybody else is okay Guy Pierce is okay in the film but it's just the script and the direction and the execution and the editing and the, the the slow motion that happens so much during this movie i don't understand how <laughs> I, I just don't understand how this movie was made today it feels like it should have came out 20 years ago because there's nothing in this movie that leaves me going oh you know what that stood out from everything else I'm watching. I can't wait to see that again. That's not the case. I was so bored. The special effects, when they are not as heavy, they're okay. But when they are heavy, it, it looks like you're watching like a PS4 cutscene. In the end of the day, Bloodshot is a movie that I had a very hard time getting through simply because I just didn't care about any of it. There's a ridiculous dance sequence uh, that, that Toby Kebbell has, which is, like, random and out of the blue, and it reminded me of Jim Carrey's random dance sequence in Sonic. Uh, so, you know, I I'm gonna give the movie one and a half out of five stars. Like I said, the performances are okay, some of the visual effects are okay, you know, but overall, it's just a big pile of nonsense that I'm gonna forget about pretty instantly. Uh, so, guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. Did you see Bloodshot? Do you plan on seeing it? What are your thoughts about it? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a whole bunch of uh, content coming on this channel. Uh, next week's Quickie Wednesday Live Episode 5, I'll be giving away digital copy codes for Beauty and the Beast 2017 and Richard Jewell will be giving those away live. So if you are interested, feel free to check, uh, check that out. Yesterday we had a pretty fun uh, fun one. It went on a little longer than expected, but we talked about a whole bunch of movie news, and I, I did a whole bunch of digital giveaways as well. So, uh, yeah, about movies coming out <laughs> that I'm going to be reviewing, it's all up in the air right now. This coronavirus is affecting everything now. Uh, it's affecting theaters, and it's just uh, movies coming out. It's not good. And uh, so we're just going to have to see what happens. We're going to have to keep our fingers crossed. Before shooting this video, you know, I saw, you know, Fast and Furious 9 is being postponed a year. My Spy 
the Dave Bautista movie. I did mention that yesterday. That's, you know, coming out in a month now. So let's see if that sticks. A Quiet Place 2 doesn't even have a release date anymore. It was supposed to come out next week, but now that's not happening. So who knows how long that's going to get postponed. Mulan might be next. Black Widow might be next. I, I have no idea, but uh, it's, it's, it's not good and it is scary. So let's all just hang in there together and do what we can uh, in, in this pretty rough time. You know, just as I tweeted out, wash your hands, you know, wash them up. If you cough, if you sneeze, do it in your shirt, do it like this, just, just cover up. You know, you gotta take precautions. If we all work together, we can, we can start to hopefully make this better and prevail so that's my thoughts on that guys don't forget you can follow me on facebook and uh twitter the links to those are in the description of this video and you can also follow me on instagram at king arises 131 and guys that's been it thank you very much for watching my review for bloodshot and until next time over and out that is absolutely fantastic